Hi guys, my name is Kelly Paris and I am a beauty buyer for Neiman Marcus. I primarily focus on personal fragrance, home fragrance, and bath and body products. So as we are all figuring out this new norm, of social distancing. There are a few tips and tricks to kind of help you feel a little bit more comfortable in your home um, since you are spending a lot more time there. And also just to help uplift your mood because right now is clearly a time that a lot of people can kind of get caught up in what's going on. And it's the best way to um, move forward is to find positivity. We are all in it together, so um, let's help uplift each other. Your sense of smell is a very extremely impactful sense that you have. Um, it can help you recall a memory, it can change your mood, and it can put you in a place that you clearly can't go right now. So I think that's part of the tips and tricks is really asking yourself a few questions um, because fragrance can really take you anywhere. Um, first and foremost, actually, what kind of fragrance do you like? Um, For me, I would have to say I like a lot of different fragrances. <laughs> um, I'm around it every single day, so I, use a fragrance more for what mood do I want to be in. Okay, first up on the tips and tricks outside of figuring out what fragrances you like is impacting your atmosphere or your ambiance. Candles, diffusers, um, anything that is going to assist in helping you feel more comfortable in your home. Um, and again, helping you emit that mood that you're wanting to achieve. For me, considering the times right now, I want to be uplifted. I want to kind of experience a little bit of that spring in my home since it is spring season. Um, so this is the Nest Fragrances Grapefruit Candle. Um, this is a tried and true. I mean, guys, like the citrus smell is kind of amazing. Next up is going to be that question of where do you want to be? Uh, for me, I want to start my day with a spa. So the Eucalyptus Body Wash from Molten Brown is a go-to for me. It just wakes me up. And again, it has that sense of pampering because the smell resonates so much with the spa. Another way to impact your mood and make you happy or uplifted is thinking about a memory. So for me, it's going to the beach. Uh, with friends and family. So when I am trying to recall a positive memory, I'm gonna go to the fragrance that I typically wear at the beach, and that is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc fragrance. It comes in a body oil, the fragrance, an all over body spray. So you can buy it in a couple of different versions. Um, it smells like the beach. So I'm not really sure between the beach or even saying that it smells like summer, which one you prefer, but that is kind of one of my go-tos when I'm trying to recall a positive memory. Um, and then there's a few other fragrances in regards to just kind of how they smell that are uplifting for me. I tend to go towards more of the citrus again, just like the home fragrance. So we've got the Aqua de Parma Yuzu. There's Yuzu and Bergamot, and it dies, dries down to a musk and sandalwood. Then we have Atelier Cologne, Clementine, California, Clementine, um, Mandarin, and um, it's just like in your face citrus. So that one really brightens my mood. Another one um, that's going to be kind of a little on memory, but also just feeling um, positive about the day 
uh, is gonna be the Creed Aventus Cologne. My husband wears this and I wear this, so sometimes when I'm wearing it, it feels a little bit more comforting because it reminds me of him too. Earlier, I shared with everyone that one of the most important things is to figure out what fragrance you like. Then you can identify the ingredients and then the ingredients can help guide your journey on what mood you want to emit or what ingredients will help you achieve that mood for your candles or for your fragrances or even your bath products. So the last two fragrances that I'm gonna share with you are from the same perfumer, Maison Francis Kirkshawn, MFK for short to make it easy. They launched these two fragrances at the exact same time and they have the same ingredients. Now, the catch is that there's a different ratio of those ingredients, so even sometimes that will play into the mood. The first one is called Gentle Fluidity Silver. And this one, the percentage of juniper berries, um, the oil in it, is a lot more. So this one is like crisp and clean and to me almost kind of like that aqua feeling of summer. And then the other one is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Um, this one has more of a higher percentage as far as the ratios of vanilla. So this to me is so much more of a warm feeling. Um, that's kind of how I associate vanilla is a little bit more warm. To sum it all up, fragrance can impact a lot. It can bring back that positive memory. It can allow your mood to be uplifted and it can just make your home feel more comfortable. So figure out what fragrance you like. That will help you identify the ingredients and then that will guide you on your journey to identifying other fragrances for your home or for bath products or your personal fragrance. As you continue forward, we would love to hear the things that you're figuring out. So don't forget to hashtag Nima Marcus and first and foremost, we're all in this together. So definitely hashtag NM together.